Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and finally iOS 13.3 is here. This is one of the biggest updates to iOS 13 since the release, of course, after 13.1, 13.2. Now we have 13.3, of course, we had some minor like updates in the middle of these bigger updates. So as usual, iOS 13.3 will fix a ton of bugs and of course improve a lot of things on iOS but of course it will also bring a ton of new features and changes to ios 13. so in this video we're going to talk about everything that is new on ios 13.3 starting with all the bug fixes and improvements then moving on to overall performance and battery life and then i will show you guys all the new features and changes that apple has added to ios 13 with ios 13.3 so of course iOS 13.3 will contain the usual bug fixes and improvements that we get on basically every iOS update. One of the biggest like fixes that iOS 13.3 has brought to iOS 13 was the fix of the RAM management issue that also has been fixed with the release of iOS 13.2. Point one, but first it was fixed with the first beta of iOS 13.3 so you won't have that issue anymore so basically with iOS 13.2.1 I believe then on 13.2.2 it was fixed with 13.2.1 that was a RAM management issue so basically when you open the app switcher you will have your apps right here and you can go to one of them and the app is loaded so if you just leave an app on the background you can go back to that app and it should be loaded and ready to go but with iOS 13.2.1 this was an issue where like apps would quit on the background so after a few seconds you go to the back to the app the app has quit it and you had to basically reload that that is fixed with ios 13.3 of course there are other minor like bug fixes and improvements that are basically in the background and we might not even notice them but of course they are fixed a huge issue that i have with ios 13.3 and that i had with ios 13 since the first beta is with the mail app now the mail app is terrible on ios 13 it's just like it's not complete it's not ready to go to the public at all so since the first beta i had had issues with the mail app it looked a bit better on the first beta of ios 13.3 but now it's like back to the its normal state just not working at all just like not updating and all that stuff so the mail app has not been fixed yet so that's a big issue because of course we get a lot of mails here and we have to always go ahead and just like manually refresh the email and basically it's not working correctly hopefully that will be fixed on an like upcoming update but it hasn't been fixed since beta 1 of ios 13. now the overall performance despite the mail app has been really really good iOS 13.3 has been really really smooth and very stable as well so like launching apps going to the app switcher switching between apps the RAM memory management all that stuff is really good it doesn't like crash or anything it's very very stable like a 0.3 update should be it's very good again I have only an issue with the mail app otherwise it's really nice and the overall performance is very smooth Moving on to the battery life, now the battery life on my opinion is mostly the same as on iOS 13.2, maybe it's a bit better but basically battery life for me on my iPhone 10 here on iOS 13, it has been the same since the first beta, like I have seen like maybe like a minor like a minor improvement here with iOS 13.3 but since the beginning of iOS 13.3 I had like the same battery life on my iphone it's not like it's bad but it's not the greatest as well it's like maybe mediocre but it's not that bad at all i have good battery life here as you can see but it's not like a big improvement with ios 13.3 moving on to the new features of ios 13.3 of course on the screen time we have a new feature called communications limits and this is the biggest feature that apple has added to ios 13.3 now a lot of people just like don't like this i've seen a lot of people saying that they won't ever use this why they make such a big deal out of it but it's here it's called communication limits and if you go on screen time and go on it you can go ahead and enable it from here so basically what this does is that it allows you to limit who people can contact on the iPhone. So basically you go here during a lot time 
you can go ahead and enter the passcode right here and you can choose who you want to be able to contact during a lot of time so you will have everyone saw any contact any number like for example any phone number or contacts only only the contacts that are on the contacts list if you go back then you will have during downtime here and here you can go ahead and do the same you can allow only contacts only so only your contacts will be able to be contacted or you can choose specific contacts so only contacts that you specifically use will be able to be contacted during downtime also if you go to screen time and you go to see all activity you will see here a button that says devices now this has been here before but before it used to show you all your devices even devices that were inactive now it will only show you devices that are active a feature that Apple has added to iOS 13.3 and I have seen that a lot of people really really love this new feature is the ability to disable Memoji stickers from the Emoji keyboard on your keyboard. So if you go to your keyboard you will see that if you go to the Emoji keyboard right here on the left side you will have Memoji stickers. Now Memoji stickers are new on iOS 13 so you will have now the ability to disable that so what you need to do is just open the settings app go to general go to keyboard and just scroll all the way down you will see here a section that says emoji and then you will have Memoji stickers you can enable or disable them when you go back to the keyboard you will see they are gone. Now when editing a video on iOS 13.3 when you go ahead and trim a video you will have the option to save that as a new clip. Now this had been a feature on iOS before but it had been removed now it's back with iOS 13.3 whenever you edit a video you don't have to save the original video as the trimmed clip you will have now the option to save it as a new clip of course you will still have the option to save the video just like the the normal video you can crop it but you can also go ahead and save it as a new video there is also a redesign of the apple watch icon on the home screen of your device on ios 13.3 you should be able to see a slight redesign on the apple watch icon now it's not that noticeable but if you have like two devices with one with an older ios version you will notice the redesign on the apple watch icon now there is a new context menu on the iMessage app so if you force touch on a message right here you will get this new menu right here you can copy you can tap to speak if you have like that enabled and then if you go to more it will just go to the edit mode where you can of course just select any of your messages and go ahead and delete any of them from here and now safari on ios 13.3 will support nfc and also usb lightning FIDO2 security keys so basically physical security is security keys will now be supported on Safari with the new iOS 13.3 so you know that with iOS 13 now you can have your image and also your name on iMessage so now the, this is a new screen that I got this from iOS beta on reddit I didn't get the screen myself but you should get it when a contact will update like their info you should get this like prompt right here to update the contact like on the iMessage when they do that on their side you will get this to update update basically their info on your device so that's basically it for this video guys this is ios 13.3 the latest ios 13 update bringing a ton of new fixes and improvements to ios as well as a few new features and changes as well now being such a big update we haven't seen like ios 13.3 bring a ton of new features and like changes or redesigns to ios like ios 13.2 they were like maybe close to 100 new features and changes but of course as we move on with the days going ios 13 will be updated more to be more stable and of course crush more bugs and fix more problems and of course they will add less new features and changes but happy overall with this update i have been using it since beta 1 it has been good the only problem i had with it was the email app that has to be to be fixed it hasn't been fixed since beta 1 of ios 13 otherwise iOS 13.3 will work we're very very good it's stable it works smoothly and of course the battery life 
is not that bad at all so that's basically it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos also don't forget to leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next one